uh, short bit of his. What did you make of that? Well, pleased overall with, you know, with late in the week we've had to adapt the team once again um, with the loss of Jared and Miko. Um, pleased with the defensive side of the performance. Um, obviously, it's good to keep a clean sheet and the mentality was good to make sure we did and some good performances. Jimmy particularly getting thrown in again at right back and doing a very good job. Jordan playing well today, especially. Um, Kino, Strong, Taki and Kino between them and, and Youngie steady as ever. So I was pleased with that side of the game. They're a good outfit, you know, and, and I still think we caused enough trouble to maybe nick one, uh, but it would have been a tight one, don't get me wrong. Um, so overall, three games have beat, and I think the mentality is getting stronger, and I think that shows in the, the way the team are finding that determination to uh, to make sure we see, we look after ourselves. Just how late were the calls on Brown and Mikko Lane? What did that do to prefer? Yeah, Mikko, uh, later in the week, that was kind of Wednesday, Thursday. Jared would probably know a bit earlier, Monday, Tuesday, when we were looking at it, guy. I mean, you know, these are these are maybes and we have to be careful. They're just coming out of injury, or certainly Jared is. We're, we're hopeful that he'll be back for the next one and we will have to wait and see. And both of them, we're hopeful and then being fit, it would be helpful. We're carrying a thin squad, which everyone knows. And then we've had umpteen injuries and not all really serious ones, but missing one, two, you know, one week, two weeks, three weeks. And it, and it's, and it's you know, it's been a real challenge, that's for sure. Do you think Dominic Calvaloon should have had a penalty in the second half? Yeah, I think it's a bizarre one. I mean, their penalty, you know... I think it's a bit of two in and fro, but at the end of the day, you can't do that. So, therefore, we know that. Um, and then, ours, I mean, the thing that I can't work out, I see so many weak penalties. And then you see that, and he's clearly trying to strike the ball at goal. Um, their lad, I don't think he can reach it. He interrupts him striking at a goal. Let's say, imagine he's going to score. And I just can't see anything other. They don't even look at it, which is, you know, you think, well, at least have a look at it. So, I, I don't know where it is with penalties. You know our record's awful for getting penalties. We don't get them. And then, I suppose he's flat, right, wouldn't it? If that's in the middle of the pitch, I think everyone in the stadium thinks it's a foul. So then why isn't it then? You know, that's that's probably the easiest way of putting it. I know there'll, there'll be some technical reason, by the way, because, you know, whenever we ask the questions, I go to the powers that be and they'll give me some technical reason and you just go, all right, yeah, okay. But it's all right when they tap someone on the and their legs buckle and, you know, amazing athletes. But who knows? Who knows? Because we can't get put away, so who knows? Great. Thank you. Should we... Sean, big contribution from Jordan again, stood up when, when he was needed. Yeah, I thought all of the team defensively, I thought it was a big contribution from everyone, to be honest. It's, you know, a lot's been made of the defensive side. I don't know, rightly so, but I've said all along, well, most of the time, it's been mainly mistakes, too many mistakes. And now we're cutting them out, and now we're looking stronger again. You know, we've had three upbeat, and, and we've looked stronger in them games defensively because we're cutting out the mistakes and we're doing the basics better, the basic principles, the shape, the tactical understanding. And the, and the awareness and the grit and determination to make sure we look after ourselves. You know, the balance is then finding more of a threat up front and more of a threat going forwards. We did find pockets of that today and some chances and good chances, of course. But I think the balance is fair to say it's a, it's a good mini run of, of three and, and defeated and five points out of them three. Point, point gaining then. The... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, they're outfit and we're patching the team together and we're still being careful with some of the players who are playing uh, to get that true match fitness. It will come. This break is probably necessary at this time. It's probably more helpful than not um, to make sure we can try and get these bodies back and some need work, some need a bit of rest and make sure we can get them back on full fitness. I did. Sean, it's not the first time the, the squad has been stretched this season by any means. Have you been able to pinpoint why there have been so many injuries? No, we've looked, at, we've looked at varying things. Obviously, we look at training schedules, we look at pre-season. Of course, both bodies coming back late don't get different times of pre-season because they needed a rest from different competitions. Um, you know, and we're, you're trying to look at all of that and, it, and it's difficult because we carry a thin squad because of the, obviously, the financial side. We know that. And, you know, it's unusual to get this many injuries. And they've not been really too many really serious ones, which is more frustrating. To get a serious one, there's not a lot you can do. But these ones have been, you know, 10 days, two weeks and but too many at once and, it, and it's been hard, you know, trying to piece that together and stay resolute to the course. But as I said, I think the mentality is growing again um, and the way the team are operating is growing again to make sure we look after ourselves. Relatively early change in the second half with Idrissa Gay coming on. Can you just explain the thinking behind that? Yeah, it was a tight call. You know, Idrissa has done very well for us. He understands the, the way that we play because he's played a lot more football and uh, the manga. And, and, and so it was just a tight call whether who played, to be honest. Um, and Idris hasn't had a lot of training, missing almost nine days, eight days without training. Uh, we understand why, obviously, a family bereavement. But so, yeah, it was a tight call, that one. So I was, I was uh, you know, wondering. And then just on that bit of extra experience, um, you know, in there. And I, and I thought he did a good job and, and probably should have scored, honestly. Any further questions? Well, 
just make a link called Sean's he going to go away for Ukraine or we might and say they have jurisdiction so they might want to see him I don't know yet you know because uh, they have jurisdiction we, we can't keep him here if they want to see him they can see him what is the injury with him? He's got a calf. Um, yeah, a small, a small calf strain, but it's enough to stop him, obviously, and, and Jared's got a thigh. And just the ways on James Garner coming in at the right back. Yeah, really been terrific. I mean, I thought he did uh, really well at Leicester. We, we know he can operate there, but I thought today was really good. You know, he, he looked like a player who's played there a lot, and he hasn't, and, and his energy looks like it's coming back every, you know, spell when he, he just couldn't quite find that, that edge to himself, but he's he's looking good and he's looking stronger. He's enjoying his football again, which I'm pleased to see. And, and I thought he did deliver a very good performance tonight. Carl Bumler, uh, so I may have spoke about the collective responsibility, but just again on on Jordan today, the, the forces got me a, a goalkeeper to suit quality and and suit character. Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's had his fair quite fair share of question marks this season, early this season that we all have. Um, mm. Part of the resilience of being a footballer and a top footballer is 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 that it's about dealing with that and seeing it through and staying resolute to what you do. I think youngest than that, you know, with his experience, his his knowledge of what he does and his knowledge of the professional, Gino's done that as well. You know, loads of people have had questions, including myself, obviously. But that's part of what you do. That's part of being a professional. Um, and he's a very good professional, and he's showing that with his performance today. Okay, folks. Thanks, everyone.